So I put these little fluffy things on my camera um, to act as a wind buffer or whatever. And I'm standing out here because it's pretty windy, just seeing if they work. Um, I'm, that's all I'm doing really. I'm just standing here seeing if these little wind guards work because I noticed the other day during my <clears throat> video when I caught that, caught that decent sized bass, there was a lot of wind noise so I was trying to figure out something. It doesn't look very good but if it works I don't really care. So, now I'm going into my little studio area and I'm going to show you guys how to make this into a swim bait box. Stay tuned. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box and I'm going to turn it into a place where I can store my swim baits. Because if you put these Huddlestons in a box and you leave them for any length of time, it can bend the tails to where they won't swim right. We don't want that. I don't need anything keeping me from catching these fish. I'm actually going to put all of my swim baits in this box for now because I don't have that many Huddlestons. So most of my big swim baits are going to go in this box. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you guys how you can you can make one of these to um, kind of keep your swim baits keep your swim baits from uh, folding up and the tails getting messed up or or whatever. I'll take some of the stuff I got from Walmart out. Got quite a few things on sale because you know that's what. I'm like these hooks were a dollar fifty each. So I got several packs of those. Got one of these because I'm gonna go catfishing at some point and I needed one of these to stick in the ground so I don't have to hold my pole or lay it on the ground and have a catfish pull it in. So all you need to do this is one of these boxes. It has one of these lids. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and punch holes in here and I'll put these twist ties through it these cable ties sorry not twist ties cable ties through it so that I can put the swivels on to hang my swim baits stay tuned so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to mark where you want the first set of holes now you got to put two holes per swim bait I'm going to make them a certain distance apart so that it looks good and there's just not holes everywhere all right once you have all the tops marked so i'm going to take it i'm going to heat this up and it's just going to go right through the plastic however many holes punched in that you want you're going to take these put them in one side So you have all these in one side. You're gonna take your swivels for the snaps. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, the, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna cut the swivel off. So I'm gonna cut the swivel off to where I just have the snap because. Even though I'm not going to have a lot of big swim baits, I don't need that much room. I don't need them hanging down that much. So you're going to take... Okay, so I have five of the snaps. 
I'm gonna take these and I'll push them through the other side. Which is a lot harder than it looks. All right, so you have all your ties in. Next step, you're just gonna put these through. Obviously, tighten them down. All right, so tighten them down good. <clears throat> Cut them off. So it tidies them up a little bit. Alright, so now you just have these snaps. All you're going to do is hang your baits. Hang your baits on the snaps. Alright, so there you go. You have your soft plastics where they can hang. in your box. Now, this particular box is 12 and a half inches deep. So you could fit up to 10 inch baits in here. You see, I have a lot of room because the biggest, my biggest bait's eight inches. So I have plenty of room. Had this come in like a nine inch size, that would have been perfect for me because I don't have big baits. For those of you that have 10 inch baits, you have plenty of room to work with. I'm gonna have my hard baits, my hard swim baits, and my soft ones in here until I get enough soft ones to just fill this up by itself. But I want my hard baits, especially ones like this one, which has a tail that can get bent. I don't want that tail to get bent up, so this one is gonna be in there also. So I'm gonna hang this one in there as well, for sure. This BBZ is going to go in there because it has a soft tail that I won't get messed up. So for now, that's what's going to be in my box. Some hard baits and some soft baits. I'm going to cover up all the treble hooks so that I don't get stuck and they don't get stuck in the soft plastics when they're moving around, but that's what mine's going to look like. All right guys, so this is what the finished product looks like. I have room for 12 swim baits or 12 just big lures if you want to put big lures in here. I have room for 12. Now, I would be careful putting baits that have trouble hooks in here without without the protective covers on them because they could, the treble hooks could stick in you. So make sure you cover all your trebles before you put them in there. But to me, this is an easy way and there's plenty of room in the bottom. If I wanted to take, let's just say I wanted to take a, pa a package of soft plastics, I could throw it in the bottom because I have plenty of room. So I have plenty of room to throw a few packages of soft plastics in there. And I could just take this for the day. If I know all I'm going to throw are swim baits and maybe one or two crank baits or a couple different packs of plastics, there you go. That's all you have to take. So to me, this is a great option to store and transport your swim baits so that they do not get damaged. That is the finished product. I did mine with 12 spots to hang things because really all you have to hang are the plastic, the soft plastic ones, or anything with a tail that can get bent up. I don't want my tails to get messed up on my swim bait, so that's what's going in my box. I'm gonna throw some decals on it and I'll be done. In less than 30 minutes, all I needed was something to heat, up, heat the screwdriver up with. These, all I did was 
take the um, swivel part off the snaps. I have a flat screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, some zip ties, and I had some smaller than this, but these are the only ones I could find at the moment, but you can have any color or any size zip tie, and your box, that's really all you need. I did use a pen to mark my spots. I like this better using the flathead because these are flat. If you're putting this into a round hole, it just won't work as well. Also, when you go to connect it, if it's a round hole, the head of the zip tie could go through the hole. So that's why I like using the flathead screwdriver instead of a drill bit. It would have been so easy to zip, you know, 24 holes in there, but this is better because this is flat. If I was using a piece of rope or anything round, a hole might be better. A round hole might be better, but for me, this flathead screwdriver did the best. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for watching.